The value of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin raced to an all-time high today. The new price is above $72,000. Earlier this year, US regulators made it easier for investors to trade the currency. Years ago, Bitcoin had almost no value. The lucky ones invested in it, and now the Bitcoin has more value. But it could again skyrocket. But this time, we're here to tell you all about it. How? Well, what if we told you that even a small investment today could potentially skyrocket to more than 447% by the end of 2024? Brace yourselves as financial guru Robert Kiyosaki of Rich Dad Poor Dad fame guides us through why Bitcoin is ablaze. I have Bitcoin. How many Bitcoin do you have? I have a fair amount. Okay, good. So the reason I buy Bitcoin is because it's got integrity. I don't, I don't like this here. So I go around the world saying to people, stop working for this. And why procrastination is the one mistake you can't afford. Hold on tight as Kiyosaki forecasts a jaw-dropping $300,000 per Bitcoin by 2024. Don't miss out on the crypto revolution. Hit subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, give us a thumbs up, and let's explore the future of finance together. The predictions. Are we going to get hyperinflation? That's not what you're saying, but you're saying preparing for that, you're going to buy Bitcoin. Why Bitcoin? Well, because I call it people's money. Robert Kiyosaki, renowned author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, stands as a financial luminary whose insights extend beyond the conventional realms of wealth. With a reported net worth of over $100 million, Kiyosaki's track record of astute predictions adds weight to his recent comments on Bitcoin. Notably, his foresight has been validated in the past, such as when he predicted the 2008 financial crisis. But the last crash in 2008, you know, I was on Wolf Blitzer's program six months before Lehman Brothers went down, and I said Lehman was going down. Nobody listened, but it went down. And so I've been expecting this market to go down for quite a while. And I'm concerned about my fellow, my fellow human beings, but as you know, most Americans are clueless. Now, Kiyosaki has set his sights on the cryptocurrency market, specifically Bitcoin. Proclaiming a bold prediction in early March, encouraging investment, he foresees Bitcoin potentially reaching an astonishing $300,000 per coin by the close of 2024. Now, Robert Kiyosaki is, has become a big Bitcoin bull. He says here, Bitcoin is on fire. The biggest mistake you can make is to procrastinate. Important to start, even if only for $500. Next stop, $300,000 per Bitcoin in 2024. This recommendation follows Bitcoin's surge to a record high of over $69,000, making Kiyosaki's call even more intriguing. The question remains, can Bitcoin truly reach $300,000? While this prediction may seem audacious, considering it surpasses the combined value of Apple and Nvidia shares, Kiyosaki's reasoning centers on the potential role of Bitcoin as a hedge against rising inflation. With its limited supply of 21 million coins, some believe Bitcoin could emerge as a valuable safeguard in times of economic uncertainty, making Kiyosaki's advice worth serious consideration. Let's uncover some compelling reasons why you might want to consider adding Bitcoin to your portfolio. First off, it's crucial to grasp the unique dynamics that make Bitcoin stand out in the financial landscape. The cryptocurrency supply is limited, with a staggering 93% of all available Bitcoins already in circulation. This scarcity, coupled with the increasing demand and diminishing supply, forms the foundation for Bitcoin's ongoing surge in value. But the intrigue deepens when we delve into the involvement of major players in the Bitcoin market. According to insights from the on-chain intelligence platform Arkham, the combined Bitcoin holdings of Tesla and SpaceX, both steered by the enigmatic Elon Musk, surpass a whopping $1 billion. Tesla, in a new filing, says that they've updated their investment policy to provide them with more flexibility to, are you ready for this, be able to buy Bitcoin. We have invested in aggregate $1.5 billion in Bitcoin, the company says, under this policy and may acquire and hold digital assets from time to time or longer term. Tesla in particular boasts a significant $771 million worth of Bitcoin, while SpaceX wallets contain an additional $555 million in Bitcoin. The endorsement of Bitcoin by industry titans like Musk serves as a robust indicator of confidence in its future potential, adding a layer of credibility to its sustained upward trajectory. Zooming in on institutional interest, MicroStrategy emerges as a key player steadily amassing Bitcoin. 
In a recent move, they acquired an additional 3,000 bitcoins, investing around $155 million. MicroStrategy's Michael Saylor purchases a further 3,000 Bitcoin for $155 million. Andrew Thurval is last updated, February 26, 2024, 1349 ESD1 Min Read. MicroStrategy's Michael Saylor continues his aggressive Bitcoin buying spree. This strategic move brings MicroStrategy's total Bitcoin holdings to an impressive 193,000 Bitcoin, accumulated at an approximate cost of $6.09 billion. This significant investment reaffirms the growing institutional confidence in Bitcoin, signaling that the cryptocurrency is no longer just a speculative asset, but a formidable player in the broader financial landscape. Shifting gears, the potential impact of ETF or Exchange Traded Fund approval on Bitcoin cannot be overstated. The clock is ticking down now for an SEC approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF in the U.S. in the coming days. The crypto world's going to find out whether 14 different money managers and ETF issuers will be allowed to launch their own spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds. Here with what this will mean for crypto traders and what we can expect. Drawing parallels from the gold market, where prices rallied an impressive 250% after the first ETF approval, we are compelled to consider the possible implications for Bitcoin. Could the approval of a Bitcoin ETF pave the way for a similar meteoric rise in its value? It's a question that lingers, and history suggests that regulatory green lights can significantly influence the trajectory of asset prices. Now, let's turn our attention to the visionary perspective of Kathy Wood, the CEO of ARK Investment, renowned for her forward-thinking insights. Wood's firm projects an astounding 3,353% surge in Bitcoin's value envisioning it reaching an astronomical $2.3 million per token. But anyways, family, here's the latest Bitcoin price prediction from ARK Invest, Kathy Wood. She says the Bitcoin price target will go well above $1 million per coin. In fact, ARK Invest says Bitcoin can be worth $2.3 million per coin. Such bullish forecasts from industry experts like Wood add a layer of excitement to the crypto narrative. As a seasoned professional in the field, Wood's optimistic outlook further solidifies the notion that Bitcoin's trajectory is poised for extraordinary heights in the years to come. Now, let's talk about the macroeconomic scene. The Federal Reserve, which controls interest rates in the U.S., might lower rates in the future. This could weaken the U.S. dollar, and Bitcoin could become more attractive to investors looking for better returns. More and more, there are Bitcoin ETFs or exchange-traded funds that allow people to invest in Bitcoin like they would a stock. This could bring in a whole new wave of investors and push the price up. Also, later in 2024, there's a programmed event in Bitcoin called a halving. All right, so Bitcoin set to undergo yet another halving event, uh, probably sometime in the next month. And uh, you got to take a look at this because it rallied like huge after the last one. This, I think, will be the fourth one to bring a pop investment. This means the number of new Bitcoins created gets cut in half. In theory, with fewer new Bitcoins and the same demand, the price could go up. Now, while past performances isn't a guarantee of future results, looking at how Bitcoin's price has changed in the past can give us some clues. And the good news, anyone can invest in Bitcoin. Well, sort of. One of the interesting things about Bitcoin is that you can buy a tiny fraction of a coin, unlike a stock where you have to buy a whole share. This means that even if you don't have a lot of money, you can still invest in Bitcoin. This makes Bitcoin different from traditional investments and could be a way for more people to get involved. Kiyosaki's comments got a lot of Bitcoin fans fired up. In the comments on his post, some people said they thought Bitcoin could go even higher than $300,000, maybe even reaching $1 million by the end of the year. The future of Bitcoin. The future of money lies in, in my opinion, crypto or Bitcoin and blockchain. So what do you have to say about that? Let's start with Bitcoin. Just a quick summary to like first time listeners, Bitcoin is a decentralized ledger. You can think of like an Excel sheet that nobody actually owns, but everybody that has like a cell, you can control the money coming out only and you can receive money. Uh, what's also interesting about Bitcoin is as more Bitcoins are minted, it gets less and less inflation. The future of Bitcoin is a topic of constant debate, with predictions ranging from astronomical highs to complete collapse. However, for us to know whether the current predictions could be true, let's look at past predictions and their accuracy. There have been some good hits and misses in past predictions. In 2010, Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto himself predicted Bitcoin could reach $1 per unit. This seemingly audacious prediction came true within a few years. 
Tim Draper, a venture capitalist, famously predicted Bitcoin would reach $250,000 by 2022. I mean, you said, do you think Bitcoin can hit 250,000 by the end of this year? Do you think that that's still a possibility? Yeah, um, by the end of this year or early next year has been my, I hedged it a little bit about three years ago. Which didn't materialize. But hey, if you had bought it at that time, given its value now, could you regret it? And now there's the $300,000 prophecy. Will you let it pass you too? Before you answer that, let's break it down. Several prominent figures in the financial world have made bold predictions for Bitcoin in 2024, and the $300,000 mark is one such prediction. On top of Kiyosaki's predictions, they also have several reasons they believe so. Firstly, there's some macroeconomic factors. Geopolitical tensions and rising inflation could drive investors towards Bitcoin as a hedge against traditional currencies. If inflation continues to erode the purchasing power of flat currencies, some believe investors will seek alternative stores of value, potentially propelling Bitcoin's price upward. Then there's some institutional interest on the rise. The increasing involvement of major financial institutions in the cryptocurrency space is another driver. As more institutional investors enter the market, the demand for Bitcoin could rise significantly, pushing up its price. Investment firms are recognizing Bitcoin's potential as an alternative asset class, and their participation lends legitimacy and stability to the market. And let's not forget the current technological advancements and adoption. The ongoing development of the underlying blockchain technology and broader adoption of Bitcoin across various industries could also contribute to its price growth. As Bitcoin's utility expands beyond its initial use case as a digital currency, its perceived value could increase, attracting more users and investors. In conclusion, with Bitcoin ablaze and industry giants like Robert Kiyosaki endorsing its potential, the future appears immensely promising. The biggest mistake, as Kiyosaki emphasizes, is procrastination. Urging individuals to start, even with a modest $500 investment, he foresees Bitcoin reaching the next milestone of $300,000 per coin by the end of 2024. While uncertainties persist, the prevailing factors, including institutional backing, potential ETF approvals, and positive projections from industry leaders like Kathy Wood, paint an optimistic picture. As we navigate this dynamic landscape, the prospect of Bitcoin's remarkable ascent, as envisioned by Kiyosaki, stands as an encouraging beacon for potential investors. But what's next for Bitcoin? Kiyosaki thinks this is just the beginning of a big Bitcoin boom. What do you think? Do you believe the prediction might be accurate and that Bitcoin might actually hit 300,000 soon? And if this is not your first time investing in Bitcoin, what tips could you share with others? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you in the next one.